on seoul.org, the Asian Whale Club for distinguished members with over 50 Bitcoin in play. Okay, how do you catch a falling knife and why would you want to do that? What is a falling knife? A falling knife is when the price of a stock, commodity, or a coin falls so fast that if you try and catch it, as it falls, you're going to get yourself cut and end up bleeding all over the stock or coin or commodity or whatever it is. Why would you want to catch it? Because if you can catch it at the very bottom, you'll catch it and bounce up with it. When Bitcoin went from 47 to 42, 42 and a half, $4,700 or $4,200, when it did that, if you had put in a buy order at $4,200, you would have bounced right back up with it and instantly, within a couple seconds, made yourself 3, 4, 5%. Now, even better than that, if you had done a margin call at that exact moment, and you uh, leveraged your Bitcoin 10 times, you would have made 20, 30%. If you'd have leveraged it 20, 30, 50 uh, times, or yeah, times, like you can do in some exchanges, you'd have made 20, you'd have made four or 500% of your Bitcoin. So you put in one Bitcoin, you get five Bitcoin out, is how you would have done that. How do you do, you do that though? This is how you do it. I have a friend of mine who's a, um, a real estate flipper. He just goes around and um, goes to uh, what do you, uh, real estate auctions. And he'll tell me, yeah, I, I bought three houses today. I bought uh, one apartment and two standalone houses. Okay, uh, do you buy three or four houses a day? No. There are times when I go three, four months without buying a single house. Why? Wouldn't you want to regularly buy houses so that you can regularly flip it? it isn't regularity, uh, stability a good thing in finance? He says, no. No. Why? Because what he's looking for, he's not looking for a house. He's not looking for a house to buy. He's not looking for a house to buy at an auction. He's looking for a house to buy at an auction that's way under market value. All these four qualities have to, have to come into coalescence in order for there to be a good deal. So think about this. I put up a couple charts. Uh, for OMG, KMD, MTL, uh, uh, PAY, and a couple other coins that are really hot premium coins right now, and said, okay, put a low ball order in <clears throat> here between this blue line and between this blue line. Everybody says it'll never fall that far. When Bitcoin fell from $4,700 to $4,200, $4,300, what's underneath that red candle? Have you, have you noticed what's underneath that red candle? There's a wick. You know what that wick is? It depends on your candle space or your candle time. If your candle is timed to one hour candles or four hour candles, you'll see that wick go longer and longer and longer. Do you know what that wick is for? That wick means that the price did go that low, in fact, but it didn't maintain that low over that one hour candle period of time, one hour average or 30 minute average or 10 minute or even five minute average. What it did was it incidentally just went bloop and then bounced right back up. That's what a candle is. That's how you want to buy. That's how you want to catch a falling knife. You want to place a, a bid that's so low, that's so low that if you catch it, the moment you catch it, you win big time. If you don't catch it, catch another one. It's like my buddy that doesn't have to buy a house or an apartment at an auction. You go there and if there's nothing that's just outrageously underpriced, don't buy. Go to the next auction until you find one where everybody else is asleep and nobody else realizes how valuable this particular house or whatever it is, apartment is, and you know that you can do the repairs on it really quickly or you, you have a friend who's a contractor who owes you money and he's going to do all the repairs for you. Only when all the conditions apply do you buy. You don't have to buy. Remember, it's like um, uh, Warren Buffett. He said, not taking a position is a position. So just kind of sit in. This is why we recommend uh, during high volatility seasons, like right now, only put about 60 or 70% of your coins into play and keep most of it in Bitcoin because you can use the Bitcoin to get yourself admission into these real estate flipping auctions. And you can place.